Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. CIBC Air Canada AC Conversion Prepaid Travel Credit Card. Hello everyone. This is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll talk about how my CIBC Air Canada AC Conversion Prepaid Travel Credit Card got hacked and what you can do to protect yourself from credit card fraud and scams. So last week when I accessed to my account for my Air Canada AC Conversion Prepaid Travel Credit Card which is a joint credit card between CIBC and Air Canada I found out that uh, I don't have any balance remaining. For this credit card, which is a prepaid travel credit card, you can control how much you want to keep in your account. So usually I keep uh, $300 or $400. And I carry this with, with this card with me because I know that uh, the benefit of keeping a small balance is that if it gets lost or scammed, then I don't have to worry about a lot of money. So last week, when I accessed my account, I found out that there's nothing remaining. But uh, I know that there should be about $400 available uh, in the account. So I checked the transactions uh, and then I found out that someone or probably one scammer or more than one person accessed my account and did lots of transactions. So I have a list of all the transactions here and I'll just go over some of them with you. Uh, there are total nine transactions that the scammer or scammers did and some of them are PayPal transactions just to buy movie ticket. Uh, these are small transactions. For example, these are like $9, $10. So the two largest transactions are, one of them is in Expedia Malaysia, which was uh, done from Malaysia and uh, it, this is about $133 and the other big transaction was uh, an airline transaction which was done from it looks like Malaysia as well and this is from uh, this is to buy a plane ticket uh, from Malaysia Petaling Jaya I believe that's a city in Malaysia and this was for another $89 so these two are two largest transactions and then uh, other are smaller amounts. So I called uh, the credit card company and they canceled the credit card right away and they're issuing a new credit card. However, for this credit card, CIBC Air Canada AC Conversion Prepaid Credit Card, uh, their back, back office is in California. Uh, the back office is not in Canada. So I had to complete a, complete a form uh, and they told me that they are doing the investigation and it would take about uh, 30 to 45 days for them to come up with a conclusion that these charges are not really made by me, uh, but someone else. And then, uh, you know, they will reverse those charges uh, if the investigation comes out uh, to my favor. So at this point, uh, my new card is in the mail. It's coming to me. So this card is no longer a valid card. And for this card, I'm not sure how their fraud detection system totally failed because in the past I had two other credit cards from different issuers and one of them, actually uh, the scammer, I lost it uh, at a coffee shop and someone got that card and took it to buy a laptop right away. However, the fraud detection system of that card was really good and it declined right away. Then the, the, the scammer tried two more transactions but all of them were declined this is another card now i had another card where there's a, a scamming or someone tried to make a fraudulent charges and that card i even didn't lose that card i had that card with me then i had a call from my bank mentioning that someone was trying to do unauthorized transactions and they stopped my card right away but for this card their fraud detection system totally failed because it doesn't, uh, I don't understand how come there were nine charges and all of them were not done by me and I still have that card in my position, in my position and then 
uh, their fraud detection system just simply didn't work. So at this point, I'm just waiting to see what they say or what they do. Uh, if there's any problem, then uh, you know my next step would be because I do have uh, the Expedia reference number and the PayPal reference number here on my transaction list. So if they declined to reverse those charges, then I'll call uh, Expedia and PayPal by myself to see what's going on because this uh, back office is not actually CIBC back office or Air Canada back office. It's a third party back office and they look after lots of prepaid credit cards or prepaid travel credit cards and there's no way you can call them directly. So you have to call uh, through CIBC Air Canada customer service, which is this card's customer service. Now, I'd just like to give you a few tips about how to protect yourself from fraud and scams. For this type of frauds, you cannot protect yourself because you still have your card and then you're going to, uh, someone you know is going to get charged, uh, can charge your cards. I, uh, they had probably had hacked the credit card company's website or somehow they hacked something. That's how they got all the information. However, the most important tip I can give you that when you're traveling, then if you have a credit card with a higher balance or higher limit or higher credit availability, do not travel with that credit card. Keep a credit card which has lower limit, uh, for example, like four or $500 or $1,000 and travel with that credit card. Let's say if you have a higher limit credit card, keep that credit card in your hotel and put it in the safe deposit box uh, or safe, safe box and do not uh, go out with that card. And then for all your credit cards, set up a alert system on the website. Some of these alert systems, you can even uh, set it up on the apps. So do uh, set up alert, alert system like you know for any transactions over $20 or $100 or $50, whatever you're comfortable with. And then from time to time, check uh, your accounts and statements to see that they're not uh, fraudulent, fraudulent charges. And then also just, uh, you know, use your common sense and vigilance to protect yourself from this type of scams. Some scams cannot be preventable. Some scams you can. So let's say, uh, don't try to use uh, cards in a foreign country to withdraw money at an ATM uh, or whenever, or even if you're trying to withdraw cash using an ATM or trying to pay something at a gas station, be very careful because uh, this is my experience that at most of the gas stations that were the scamming occurs because you know, scammers put a small machine on top of the ATM machine which can copy your uh, pin number and card number so be very careful about that and then uh, whenever you're traveling just be extremely careful because most of the scamming occurs in foreign countries where uh, you know scammers are always targeting the travelers so I'll keep you updated. Uh, I, I'll have more videos on scamming and how to protect yourself. So if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and there will be more videos coming up. That's all for now. Thank you and have a good day.